Colonel Pip is pretty good. He is a mega taunt killer. There's two monsters I want to get up to rank three. One is Colonel Pip. Welcome to Wabi Gaming, the place where the game is going. So there is a new maze map. So let's see what's happening. There are lots of exciting changes in the maze island. Let us give you a walk through a brand new map. Up one, get your brand new corrupted monsters straight away. You'll find the keys you need to unlock all the other paths right on this one. Okay. Not sure what that means, but we'll go check that out. Path two and three, these are the roads you want to take if you want powerful equipment. So that's going to depend on what equipment they actually mean. That will determine if we go down path two or three or not. And path four, you'll have to see for yourself what's hiding at the end of this one. That's probably like some free chest or something, but we don't know. And path five, want to take the star of dispense rank five. Then you have no time to lose. The sooner you unlock this path, the more cells you'll be able to collect. Is that all? Absolutely not. If you reach the end of all of those paths, you'll have enough cells to get another top monster you've already met before. So that's an existing monster. Decide on your strategy and let the exploration start. I haven't seen any leaks about how to do these, so we'll have to work this out together. And the general strategy, if you're not sure what to do, is just to get as many maze tokens as you can. This looks like it's path one, and I'll pick at 30% discount. Path two, I'm trying to click on this and nothing's happening. So it's kind of hard to tell what level room this is. We'll probably see some links, but the best case scenario here is it's a level nine and 10 room. For me, personally, the monster is more important. Path three looks like it's a diamond chest again that's okay but again personally for me the monster is more important so it's going to depend on you half four does look like it is some hero chest so that's only 10 of them and if you haven't seen my other video you can get 10 for free so i don't think two three and four are worth it half five says it's locked so this is the locked one over here so we can't unlock him until we do the other parts nothing can happen unless we do this kernel pit part this looks like a pretty standard maze we don't know if there's going to be a limited time path it seems like it's starting at 30 percent which indicates that there's probably going to be another 30% at one day, 18 hours. So for me, that's what I'm going to wait for. I'll do a quick collection as much as I can. But the problem I have is my hatchery is completely full from the breeding event. This one finishes in three hours and these don't breed for another six and a half hours. So I'm going to put my maze collector token on. And I do have a separate video called Max Maze Coins. So if you want to maximize your maze coins without the collector tiers, Go check out that video up here. I will do a quick feed and a quick PvP battle because that will help me out a little bit. So you just want to go to any monster and feed them up until you see the 30 come up. So that's 30. And the uh, PvP will give you 15 coins. Oh, I need a little bit more in the next one and a half hours to get my rank 6 egg. So I'm just going to do one fight and then do the rest of the fight offline. And this gets you 15 coins. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to enter giveaways, row in monster wood gems, legendary wars, titan dungeons, and race monsters. I go with auto teams just to make it easier for me. Like watch TV or do something else on the side. After you click out of this, you'll get a 15 coins. There's 15. And you want to spam the gold until you get 30. So we've got 30. And that's all I can do unless I want to gem these. So for me personally, I think if you are hoarding maze collector tokens, the start of the new era is actually the perfect time to do it. So I'm going to go to sleep soon. It's 11.30, so I'm going to put two of these on. And then go to sleep. And that means I can get all of those. And I'm using them quite liberally because I do have a bunch of maze tokens left. 25, and from the Legends Pass, I haven't collected mine. I've still got a whole bunch of them collected from Legends Pass. There's three, there's another four, that's seven. There's 12. There's another 6, 18, and there's going to be another 10. So that's going to be 28 extras. So I do actually want to use some of my maze coin tokens because the maximum you can hold at any time is 30. Let me know what you plan to do. Colonel Pip is pretty good. He is a mega taunt killer. There's two monsters I want to get up to rank 3. One is Colonel Pip and the other one is Wing Su. But out of all the monsters, those two are my top recommendations so far. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out one of these two videos over here. And if you think Wabi Gaming videos will help one of your friends grow, make sure to share with them as well. And I will see you next time.